Serious, what's a fact that just blows your mind? The 2nd of November, 2000 was the last time all humans were on the planet together. Since then at least one person has remained on the International Space Station. That the biggest bacteria species known, Phymogerita namibiensis, can have a maximum diameter of 0.7 millimeters, which is big enough for you to see it without a microscope. That's insane if you consider that your average bacteria species has a diameter of 0.001 millimeters. A woman once jumped off the 86th floor of the Empire State Building but the wind pushed her back and she fell on a ledge on the 85th floor. She survived. Stephen Hawking threw a party for time travelers but no one came. There is a termite colony in the Amazon rainforest that is the size of Great Britain and is almost 4000 years old. There are also hundreds of millions of termite mounds. Link. The US government has an official for a zombie apocalypse. Conplan 8888 also known as Counter Zombie Dominance was written in 2011. And just in case you think it's weird bureaucratic humor, the first line reads, This plan was not actually designed as a joke. The sound made by the Krakatoa volcanic eruption in 1883 was so loud it ruptured eardrums of people 40 miles away, traveled around the world four times, and was clearly heard 3,000 miles away. That's like you standing in New York and hearing a sound from San Francisco. Your brain automatically translates WTF but not LOL. How a computer does what it does. Blows my mind how ones and zeros can do so much. Maybe I'm uneducated, but still mind-blowing. A neutron star is so dense that a teaspoon of material from one would weigh around 10 million tons. That neutrinos have mass and every second of every day about a billion of them are going through every square inch of your body, but the space between your atoms is so huge there's pretty much a 0% chance they will ever hit you. Several thousand years ago, the Sahara was actually grassland with massive lakes that rivaled the Great Lakes of North America. Also, at one point the Strait of Gibraltar was closed. This meant that the Mediterranean Sea almost completely evaporated. That if you could fold a piece of paper 45 times, you could reach the moon. I still can't get over the fact that Teddy Roosevelt got shot and continued to give a 3 hour speech. There used to be 9 different species of humans. Some animal abilities are truly amazing to me. There's a type of lizard called the axolotl that can regenerate lost limbs in a matter of months. And there's also a jellyfish called the immortal jellyfish that is, well, immortal. When they are attacked or when they get old, they can somehow revert to when they were babies and start growing up again. Also, some animals can live without a head. A chicken once lived 18 headless months, and a turtle, tortoise, what's the difference, live one. It took us about 70,000 years to go from stone tools to settlements. The V2 rocket killed more people while actually making it than during World War II when it was used. Also Pepsi once had the 6th largest army navy in the world. If time travel were possible, you would need a time and space machine to survive the trip. Otherwise when you travel back in time, the planet would be at a different point in its rotation around the sun and our solar system would be at a different point in space as it rotates. Which means you'd travel back in time and be in an empty part of space. If the timeline of the universe, up to now, was compressed into a year starting on New Year's Day, Homo sapiens would appear at 11.54pm on the 31st of December. The 10th president of the USA John Tyler, born in 1790 as two living grandsons. There are more trees on earth than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy, confirmed by NASA. How massive the solar system is compared to earth, not even regarding any other part of space, just the solar system, it's insane. There's this website that shows the entire solar system lengthwise, if the moon were only one pixel. Take the time to read everything in it while you scroll through and just take in the massive expansiveness of space. Umop Apiston is upside down upside down. That our galaxy and the Andromeda are going to collide a long, long time from now to form Milkbromeda. That and that our universe will slowly die one day. There'll be no galaxies. 
No stars. No nebulae. Nothing. It will all die out and leave noting but black holes and dwarf stars. A gram of uranium is roughly 20 billion calories. Mind was blown. When something is in orbit, that essentially means it is perpetually falling. 2006, which doesn't feel that long ago, saw the death of two colossally old tortoises. The first, Harriet, tortoise, was reportedly collected by Charles Darwin when he visited the Galapagos on the HMS Beagle. She belonged to Steve Irwin at the time of her death. Charles Darwin and Steve Irwin shared a pet, estimated to have lived 176 years. The second, a Dwighter, was born before the United States declared its independence from England. Think of it, just 14 years ago, there was a land creature alive that was older than our country. Just incredible. The oldest living tree in the world Methuselah is 4851 years old. Russia is bigger than Pluto. Vacuum decay could completely annihilate the entire universe at any moment and we wouldn't even see it coming. One moment you're doing your thing. The next you and everything else just blips completely out of existence. That one guy who tried to assassinate Andrew Jackson. He had two guns and both of them jammed. Best part is that the secret service had to pull Jackson off the assassin because the latter was beating the former to death with a cane. Ant biologists still don't know the maximum lifespan of most ant queens. They just live too long to keep track. And they are not too easy to keep in captivity. The longest one on record is like 30 years old. And there could easily be species that live longer than that. A now closed cave in Utah still holds the body of a man who died in 2009. Mitochondria is only passed down by a mother so there's a concept of mitochondrial Eve. All humans today have their mitochondrial DNA derived from her. Arctic foxes can survive temperatures as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius. That the Oxford University is older than the Aztec Empire. I recently got my cat some catnip treats and as I was googling what to buy, I found that catnip actually works as an insect repellent. In fact, catnip is 10x more Republican than DEET. Martin Luther King, Jr. and Anne Frank were born in the same year. Also, that same year, Betty White was already 7 years old. There are about 100 times as many cells in a human body than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. That 8 ants can't get fiber to my house. You are outnumbered in your own body. The bacteria present in on your body outnumber your own cells. We wouldn't even be able to survive without most of them. The way the human brain works. These cells that are powered by tiny jolts of electricity are collectively having conscious thoughts. Coming up with morals and empathy and every human behavior. Strawberries aren't berries. But bananas are. There is a world war between ants. It still blows my mind that a girl, pretty one too, decided on her own free will to marry me. Took more time to go from bronze swords to steel swords and steel swords to nuclear weapons and less time from nukes to melting lasers that literally melt metal is seconds. Every two years there's a convention that reunites all the cities called Newcastle in any language. This convention is called Newcastles of the World. It even has its own website. France is the only country that has recorded a successful cavalry charge against boats. Charles Darwin is considered to be the father of evolution, but he never once used the word evolution in his masterpiece book on the origin of species. That Nigeria will have more people than the US by the end of the century. When you look up at the stars, you are looking at millions of years into the past. That scientist was able to figure out what a girl looked like, where she was from and even her last meal from just a piece of chewing gum. That there are people in the world who don't like music, not one specific type, but music as a whole, that both blows my mind and disturbs me. I don't understand why there is something instead of nothing, it would make more sense if there was nothing. 
I mean it's not a fact per se but just the idea of finding your mate against all odds, like the precise set of circumstances of a family moving to your country or state or city and then you just by chance start hanging out with that family and then start dating someone in that family and then marry that person. Like amazing. Just the history of both of your families may be at opposite ends of the world but somehow you end up together is just so crazy to me and I'm happy that it happened to me. The smartphone that you hold in your hand has more technological strength than the Apollo 11 lunar ship. Americans eat 1.5 billion pounds of potato chips each year. Just Americans. Not world. The fact that people choose to believe that the vaccines hurt people. The earth is flat. ETC. And calls us idiots. Lies for believing the truth that the science tells us. I mean I'm pro-vaccine. Round earth believer. Hope people will learn reality not stupid stuff. Sometimes I really just imagine how small I am. Imagine a bird's eye view going straight up from you. A pig will eat a whole human body except for the teeth. If an underwater bubble is collapsed by loud sound, light is produced and no one knows why. All 7.8 billion people on the planet can fit standing up in an area roughly the size of Rhode Island. Liquids behave exactly like particles. Say you have one bucket of sand and one bucket of gravel. You mix the two. But you won't get two buckets worth of sand gravel mix. The sand will fall into the gaps between the chunks of gravel. Worked example. If you add one liter of pure ethanol to one liter of pure water, you will not get two liters of fluid. You will actually get about 1.9 liters of mixture. One liter of ethanol weighs 789 grams. 1 liter of water weighs 1000 grams. Combined. That mixture will weigh 1789 grams. 789 stroke 1789 equals 44% mixture by weight which has a density of about 925 grams liter. 1789 grams of this mixture will actually have a volume of 1789 stroke 925 equals 1.93 liters. White is all colors combined. There are more planets than there are grains on sand on earth. Cleopatra was born closer in time to the launch of the first iPhone and to the construction of the pyramids. The fact that nobody knows that if we all see colors the same way. There are tice receptors. On testes that can sense sweet and umami flavors. That we all die. A friend died the other day and it reminded me of the brief moment that we are alive. If you are reading this, maybe send a message to a friend that might be lonely or could be isolated. You will be doing a kind act. The biggest thunderbolt ever recorded in the universe was 150,000 la long. Our galaxy the Milky Way is 100,000 la long. And it came from a blazer which is a ducking insanely big black hole, M87. And yes this is the black hole we took in photo. It is way way bigger than our Milky Way's supermassive one. Some women sell their poop online and it gets sold out. Bamboo just blows my mind. All bamboo of the same strain bloom at the same time around the world regardless of climate conditions or geographical locations. Most species bloom with huge intervals lasting up to 65-120 years. It's still a huge mystery, leaving scientists to speculate whether bamboo has some sort of internal alarm clock. So a species of bamboo that grows somewhere in America blooms at the same time as the ones in China. Even though the conditions vary, it's amazing. Also really cool how it grows. All bamboo in a single patch of land share the same roots and are, in a way, all the same plant. I am not a herbologist, or whatever so I could be misunderstanding things. A concept more than a fact but how the whole body functions. Like, even just your heart beating in order to get blood round your body, let alone everything else working in sync. And most of it is done without us even noticing. It's no wonder some are flawed. Modern humans existed for some 250,000 years. And civilizations really only started in the past 5,000 years. Before that all humans did was hunt for food and live in caves. With no agriculture at all. 1 million seconds equals approx 12 days. 1 billion seconds equals 32 years. 
1 trillion seconds equals 32,000 years. Seeing as people are currently throwing the word trillion around a lot lately, as in pounds or dollars, this really highlights the truly massive differences between these sums. 1 quadrillion seconds equals 32 million years. When you dream, one part of your brain is making up the story, and another part is experiencing those events and is genuinely surprised by all the twists in the plot. Some people don't have an inner monologue, like they literally don't have a voice in their head. There's a couple of caves in the US filled with government cheese. During the depression no one was buying cheese so the government started buying it to keep the dairy market up. Afterwards they had no idea what to do with it. That's also part of the reason we have so much cheese in our diets. I've been alive for 30 years and I haven't figured out how to sleep properly. Our sun will become a red giant in about 5 billion years, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and Earth in the process, possibly Mars too. Essentially, our native planet will be vaporized. I know that won't happen soon, but it does kinda make our current problems seem fleeting when I really think about it. That if you have a cucumber, which is 99% water, and you begin to dry it out, by the time it will be 98% water. It would have had lost 50% of its mass. Due to the rate at which light travels, all the stars in the sky may not actually be there and may just be the light at which once was. If you think too hard about it, we wouldn't know the sun was destroyed for 8 minutes. During that time it wouldn't physically be there but would appear as such in our sky. In World War 1, the German force that invaded Belgium had more men in it than the entire Roman army had at the height of its power.